I hope your Sunday's been a good one. We are tracking a very active tropical situation both in the Atlantic and in the Pacific with some threats to the United States. I just wanted to touch very quickly here on the percentage of name storms per month. Typically June and July only you know 14% of the name storms develop in a typical season during these two months. The bulk of development come in August and September, and this is around our peak here in Hampton Roads. We typically see the last two weeks of August into say the third week or so of September. That's our most active period here, and we're just starting to push into these months. But as I mentioned, it's been a very, very active start to the Atlantic season. Look at all the names we've gone through already. Hannah made landfall yesterday, coming in over Padre Island. Lots of rain across South Texas, some wind there as well. Hannah is now moving into Mexico as a tropical storm. It made landfall as a hurricane, category one, but it's now weak into a tropical storm now that it's over land and it will rain itself out in the next couple of days. We've got more that we're watching out in the tropics. There's Douglas again passing just north of the islands, but close enough that there are tropical storm warnings and hurricane warnings up for the Hawaiian Islands. We'll focus on that in a moment. And then we have this next wave, which could become Isaiah's in the next two to five days. There's good chances for development. We'll take a quick look at Hannah here again. It's already made landfall now just a tremendous amount of rain across South Texas and spreading into Mexico. It's forecast to move to the west southwest and the wind still at 50 miles per hour, but it will continue to weaken. The problem with these systems is as they move in over the higher terrain, especially they rain out and sometimes can create flash flooding even mudslides or landslides, that can be an issue there. Back to Hawaii we go. Here's Douglas. Earlier, this was a major hurricane, a Category 4 hurricane. It's now weakened. The latest on this, it is still a hurricane, but it is a weaker system than it was. Tropical storm warnings out for the Big Island. Also, Maui, seeing that. Back over towards Oahu, a hurricane warning, and that extends back to the western part of the island. So Honolulu, uh, part of the... Uh, area under the hurricane warning there. The center is expected to pass just to the north, but still enough of an impact there on Oahu that they do have that warning posted. And that center is expected to pass early Monday morning just to the north. So we'll continue to keep you updated on that. All right, back to the Atlantic and here's that next wave. You can see some of the outflow. Look at how it's fanning out here. You can see trying to get better organized. That's why we believe this will become our next name system. And the chance is very good for this development. It's gonna to carry towards the uh, Leeward Islands here and eventually it may come in to the northern Caribbean. Some of the models also kind of bring it a little farther to the north. And one of the models, the GFS earlier this morning, actually kind of brought it up fairly close to the east coast. It did recurve it, but close enough that we would definitely need to uh, watch it with great intensity as it moves closer. So it's way, way out there. We've got plenty of time to watch. It's a good week and a half or so anyway. We'll keep you updated with the latest on this one. Again, if it does get a name, it's going to be Isaiah. Stay tuned to 13 News Now for more updates.